Right then folks, I've hit the Roman road. I'm on the way back now, all downhill, back home. That's what made me feel unwell, I think. Right then, so this is the Roman road. And I'm going down it. Now I'm going to try and video as much as I can. I just stopped there. I might stop at the occasional point. To be quite honest, it's beautiful up here, isn't it? Do you know, when I was um, at my own house, Barrow, Abbeville, from my bedroom I had a lovely big bay window. And I never knew at the time how significant this, these hills would be for me. Because I could see this, well not the actual road, but I could see the hill from my bedroom. And, um, yeah, I had a nice, nice home for 19, nearly 20 years. And then we just stop here and let these people by. Bye. The thing is, they, they're bigger than you. They can run you over and kill you. I'm, I won't go. If I didn't, if I wasn't using the camera, I'd probably whiz down here. But I'm not going to. There's another vehicle coming now. Look. Will I get into that gap in time? I get into that gap in time. It's okay, I'm gonna go in here. Anyway. Right, I've just turned off. I'm recording. I don't reckon anyone's living in there lately. The curtains are all shut. Well, that was that could be to keep out the sun, though, couldn't it? I love this place. Beautiful views. Little follies they've got here. Yeah, this would be on my list of one of mine. Definitely. Right, as you can see, it's quite dangerous. It's getting busy on the road. I want to get home in one piece. It's difficult to handle the bike and the video and I've got the sun in my eyes and I do need to be able to use both brakes. So I'm going to do a little tiny bit more and then I'm, I'm um, the next set of cars that come. I'll put the video away. So here we are. This is the Roman road. I have been down it maybe once or twice before on the bike. It's not a route I do very often. It's not a route I walk very often either. And just up here, not far, see there's that wall with the cups in them. Some cups in the wall there. Um, the donkeys live down here and they're, they're not employed at the moment. They've... Uh, no donkeys on, allowed on the beach at the moment. I'm doing this for posterity so people know that I'm still fit at the age of 68. And they want to label us all as next to death's door, us oldies. To be quite honest, I think we had a good start in life the baby boomers and uh, it's actually hard cycling with one hand on the handlebars as well going uphill Because you usually use both hands and you pull on the handlebars and it pulls yourself, you pull yourself along. 
going into the sun now. It's just a little bit of a hill. It's beautiful, isn't it? Video it that way. There's a sea over there. We're coming up to the golf course in a minute. Here's another car. See if they take up all the room. Oh yeah. I'm gonna if there's no one on that bench, I'm gonna have a little rest in a minute. And normally I go down through there if I'm walking, down to uh, Bleeden, go down the hill there, walk through the village. And there's Gracelands, in there, the big posh house. And here's a little bench where I'm going to have a little drink of water. I'm going to have a little drink of water and maybe the rest of my cheese and tomato. It's a good place to stop. Let's put that bike up there. Secure it. That's it. Good place to stop. And then, it isn't far home really now. But there's Brent Nola over there. That's Brent Knoll over there, look. Which I haven't done for a couple of years, and I do. That's, that's where I, my, I took my children when they were small. We climbed that a lot. Although I do do it for posterity now and again. It's the uh, it's same with Breen Down, really. Um, they're sort of places of importance in my life. But I've moved on a bit, exploring further around. Now I can, I think I can just make out Glastonbury Tor for the first time in weeks and weeks. And it's not totally clear. It's right over there, Glastonbury. Look, a long, long way off. I haven't seen it for a long time. We've had lots of grey sky and... It's faded out again. But there it is. There's Glastonbury. Look, I haven't done that for a couple of years. I think four years since I've been up there. It's difficult to get to it now. Well, I'm going to cycle to it. Yeah. No Glastonbury Festival this year either due to the current coronavirus. All right, over and out, everyone. This is lovely little bench. In celebration of the life of George Wall, 1937 to 1999, friend and farmer of Bleeding. This was his favourite view. Well, you think they'd cut that bit down, at least to the wall, wouldn't you? Somebody would probably come put some flowers in. I don't know. Over and out.